Hello, beloved, and welcome to your reading. We're going to be diving deep into this reading to see the messages that you need to hear right now. It is always important to take what is resonating with you and leaving behind anything that is not for you. So really use your own wisdom and your own discernment as you are listening to these readings. I want to remind you that we have our candle magic ceremony that is going to be happening on the 19th of May. Finally, we are able to start planting our seeds of manifestations. The new moons are all about planting our intentions. Taurus is all about manifesting. Taurus is all about the things that we love. Being ruled by the sign of Venus, it is really all about showing up. Not only are we having these two positive energies, we also have the energies of Jupiter, which is going to be entering Taurus. So this is the perfect time to be manifesting. This is the perfect time to be working with those new moon energies. All right. So if you're wanting to be part of the candle magic ceremony, where me and my team are coming together, collaborating and really uplifting the energies through dancing, chanting, praying, go in the description box below, reserve your space. Write your petition and then send your petition to me and then me and my team will be collaborating together on the 19th of May to make things happen. Okay, so we have our cards on the table. You are receiving two major arcana cards and I like the major arcana cards that are here, especially when I'm looking at the oracle cards. So it's literally the divine saying to you that you are going to be stepping into the energy of the emperor. And is stepping into the energies of the emperor you are going to be moving into the next major arcana card of the sun card where you're starting to shift the sun is all about joy it's all about blissfulness it's all about healing but the emperor is all about being strategic so the question for you is how can you be strategic about the things that you're wanting to bring into your life how can you be strategic about the decisions that you're making really taking the chance to sit down to observe everything that is going on before you make a move. We are still in the energies of Mercury being in retrograde. So the divine is wanting you to understand that sitting down, making your calculation is going to be important and then shifting over to the energies of the sun card once Mercury has gone direct is going to be good. Because as you can see with our cards, this is leading you to you entering a new chapter, entering a new peaceful chapter. So the divine is saying to you, as you are being gifted the energies of the emperor, you're starting to create the stability that you've been praying for. And as you're being gifted the energies of the sun card, you're starting to enjoy life. You know the feeling that summertime brings where everyone is just partying, everyone is letting their hair down, everyone is in a good mood for the most part. These are the energies that you're going into. So if you make your moves right, you're going to be shifting and you are going to be going to a place where it's just full of divine wisdom, where it's full of that feeling of gratitude because you took the journey and you took the time to understand what it is that you needed to do. And as you shifted over to these blissful energies, you understood that life is always about growing. Life is always about shifting to new directions, to new places. Life is about growing as a person, mentally, spiritually, physically, and also, you know, about you manifesting because the emperor is all about using his wisdom, using everything that he's experienced to create the life that he wants. The emperors back in the day were so wise that the kings, okay, the queens used to go to the emperor for advice. So this is how powerful these energies are. So as you can see, you have received literally the energies of the king, the energies of the queen. And it's interesting that both of them are swords. So the divine is saying that you are shifting into energy of balance. You're understanding that as a king, you must fight for your castle. You must fight for the possessions that you have around you. You must stand up and assert your power. And you bring that energy of divine wisdom. You're understanding that your guides, your guardian angels are walking with you. So you, before you take action, you're consulting your guides and your guardian angels, just as you are consulting this tarot reading. And then you're understanding that taking time to evaluate, to assess the situation and going and getting the help that you need 
putting ego aside is important. Just like I said, in the olden days, the, the kings, the queens used to go to the emperor for advice because he has the key to divine wisdom, to divine knowledge. And you're understanding also that as you take action, as you're being assertive, as you're showing up, you must also bring the energies of the queen of swords. So you're also stepping into, the, into those divine feminine energies because you're understanding that the divine wants you to be balanced. Don't allow people to walk all over you, but at the same time, don't be too harsh. So there's a moment of sitting down, assessing. Why? Because the swords, you've received two swords. The swords are about information. The swords are about educating yourself. The swords operate on the mental plane. So the divine is saying to you, before you make your next move, make sure that you have received all the information that you need. Make sure that you've consulted someone who can give you more information, divine wisdom, who can show you your situation from a different perspective. Why is that? Because they are removed emotionally from what you're currently going through. So they're able to see a lot. So I feel that there's a balancing energy that is here that you are going to be stepping into because you're understanding that when you work with balanced energies, you allow your life to flow in a more easier way, in a more positive way. You start going with the ebb and flow of life. So we're seeing that indeed there are movements that are here. We've already touched on the energies of the sun. So the divine is showing you here as the six of swords. Again, we have another swords. As the six of swords, understanding, like I told you, when it is time for you to fight and when it is time for you to go towards a peaceful state of mind. Because remember, our oracle card told you that you're entering a peaceful new chapter. So the divine is saying that for some of you, you are still currently in that turbulent experience. Okay, you go and get the help that you need. And then you move over to a more peaceful chapter where you're stepping into the energies of the sun card where life is feeling good. But do not be afraid of doing whatever it is that you need to do right now. Because we're still under the influences of the eclipse season. And the eclipse season is about wiping away, is about moving away. And then when it is time for us to enter those peaceful new chapters, we have done all the hard work. So whether this is doing your cord cutting ceremonies, whether this is doing your banishing ceremonies, whether this is doing your return to sender ceremonies, as we are in eclipse season, this is the perfect time to utilize these energies. And if you're needing to do that, you can do that by yourself. Or again, you can team up with me and my team and we can do those services for you. Everything that you need to know is in the description box below. But don't waste the eclipse season because they give you an opportunity to wipe the slate clean so that when it is time to move, you're able to move with a lighter slate, with a clean slate even. Because you have a new energy that is here connected to the page of cups. The page of cups, as you can see, is all about you shifting again because the pages are going on a new direction, on a new chapter. They're learning, they are growing. They bring that youthful type of energy that is there. So again, the divine is saying to you, as you're going forward, there's a sense of joy, this sense of lightness around you because the darkness is now behind you. The eclipse season is going to be a thing of the past as you're moving and shifting and manifesting new beginnings for yourself. So it is important for you to cut any cords that are going to keep you attached to the past so that you can free yourself, okay? As we're looking at our oracle cards, I like the cards that are here because you've already been told that you have peace that is going to be on the cards for you. You have joy that is going to be on the cards for you. So the divine is saying to you that as you saw with our tarot cards, you are working with divine timing, okay? And not only that, as you are working with divine timing, you are wiping the slate clean. You are moving away from turbulent situations. You are moving away from things that no longer serve you. And as you do that, as you start entering a new chapter, the divine is saying to you that it is going to be important to work with the energies of that new moon in Taurus, making your wishes known to the divine. And then when it is the new moon, making your wish, right? You're making your wish, as you can see. So as you work with different phases of the moon, you're going with the ebb and flow of life and you're starting to understand 
why it is important and why it has always been important. When you look at traditional tribes all over the world, everywhere, they always worked with the moon energies. They knew when it was time to not plant their seeds. They knew when it was time to not look at the moon. And they knew when it was time to plant the seeds and to manifest for the next chapter, for the next phase. So you're literally starting to understand how divine timing works, how all the energies all align for you. And you're understanding that sometimes you're at a crossroad. You have started the move. You've started the shift. And then you're waiting for divine timing to align so that you can go forward. So the divine is giving you the message of you understanding that when it is the right time to make your wishes known, make that wish known to the divine. Plant those seeds of intention. But when we are working with the heavier energies of the eclipse season, you're understanding that this is the opportunity for you to look at the past and to see what is getting in the way so that you can cleanse so that you can cut the cords, you can do your banishing rituals, so that you can free yourself. So as we're shifting forward, you're going to be seeing that the energies that we are going to be working with, not only are they getting lighter, you're actually going to be able to see that things are really coming into fruition. Usually with the Taurus new moon, when you've planted your seeds of intention, usually about two weeks, you start seeing the results. You start seeing the shift. So I really love the energies that we're shifting into because they're just bringing a lightness. They're bringing our awareness to the things that are important. So remember to be saying your prayers. Remember to be making your connection to your guides, to your ancestors. Remember to be making your wishes known to the divine. But at the same time, it is important to sit down and to assess your life, to see what is going on so that you can remove, you can cleanse, you can wipe the slate clean, cut the cords, whatever it is that you need to do to anything that is standing in the way. So you're using that divine wisdom to make a move at the right time because you are working with divine timing. And at the right time, you're making your wishes known to the divine and then you're starting to move forward and entering a peaceful chapter because the energies of the page of cups, this is the cups deal over your emotions. They deal with your feelings. So you are going to be feeling joyous and happy as you're shifting, as you are moving. So beloved, this is the message that I wanted to give to you in the comment section below, comment 1111. And it is important for you to always give these videos a thumbs up and to subscribe to the channel if you feel called to do so. It is always nice to have that energy exchange because it keeps the energies moving and shifting instead of remaining stagnant. Okay, so I'm going to see you very soon. My next reading, it is a goodbye from me.